So in this video, what I want to show you is actually how to create a portfolio or a gallery in WordPress. And so there's many different ways that we can actually go about doing this. Uh, there's a built-in gallery function in WordPress, uh, but there's also various plugins. And in my opinion, if you're actually trying to create a portfolio, um, unless it's just an image-based portfolio, uh, the gallery of, that's built into WordPress isn't going to be enough. And so that's why for, for me, what I, what I like is either the portfolio plugin or the WordPress picture portfolio plugin. And the one that we're going to actually be using is the second one, the WordPress Picture Portfolio plugin. And I'll actually show you how to use it. So the portfolio that we're actually going to be creating is this one right here. And so it's very basic right now, but you can imagine how it could be eventually. And so what I like about this plugin is specifically it has this filtering function. So say you had different categories, um, you know, whatever type of portfolio you were creating, uh, if you wanted to separate them in any way, it can easily do that. And then in addition to that, uh, kind of what the interesting functionality is, is that it also has a slideshow. So, you know, you can play the slideshow um, of the pictures that you have in the background, right? That's one thing that I do like about the plugin, and it's pretty cool. But what's better is that I think, in my opinion, portfolios are designed to kind of showcase uh, not just the pictures, but also your work that you did, right? So if you had a, a particular project, you can show what it looks like in action, or if they want to read more about that specific portfolio item, then they can do that as well. And so that's what I think, that's why this plugin specifically has an advantage over the other ones because in my opinion a portfolio is much more than just simply sh showcasing uh, your pictures or showcasing a gallery if that's what you want um, then definitely the WordPress built-in gallery function will work just fine but if you're actually trying to create a portfolio that showcases your work now this is when we would want to use this additional plugin so I'm just going to show you how to create this right now the first thing that we're going to do is I guess what we're going to have is just create a bunch of these different portfolio items just for sample purposes. But in your case, you would actually be creating real ones of your past works and things like that. And so I'm just going to show you one of these. So we have this portfolio item here, just labeled Portfolio 3. I went in ahead and kind of gave it some you know, demo content, nothing much. Um, I'll show you what all these filters are in the future. I guess I can show you right now. Pretty much there's the three different filters, or you can add as many filters as you want. We have two right now, category one, category two. Um, and filters are just designed so that, you know, when you press that button on the portfolio, right, they can kind of uh, go with that in that order. What, whatever uh, filter it's attached to, then, then it'll uh, filter in that manner, right? So we just put whatever categories or whatever you really want to put for the filter, just distinguish them, right? The one thing that was kind of confusing for me that I just realized now is they have these portfolio categories. And in my opinion, um, it, it isn't necessarily all that useful. You should probably just keep the filters and the portfolio categories exactly the same. So in my case, we should have just left it as por category one, category two, and the filters category one, category two, because that's the only thing that really makes sense. In my opinion, they probably should have just left out the categories altogether and just you know combine the filters. But anyways... What we're going to do now is you, know, you can put an image or video URL that you want to actually display in the Lightbox gallery. So we're just going to put the same image in the feature image and this image right here. You can also put a video. Um, you can also attach where you want. Remember when it said uh, view project? Well, right now it's going to our main website. So just whatever project you're working on, for example, if you design websites, right, then this would be a portfolio for other websites that you've worked on. So what we did here just add the featured image and if we see right here that's our featured image so just make sure that this matches the same URL as what you want to put for this image or video URL unless you're putting a video then obviously make something different and that's it right that's that's all we're gonna do we're gonna update it and and we're just gonna repeat the process so we're gonna repeat the process till we have all three or how I mean how many ever portfolio items you have just remember the filtering option and the categories was the only thing that's really tricky the rest is just works exactly the same as um, creating a new post, right? Ultimately, that's what it is. Uh, so now, though, what we have to do is we have to actually figure out how are we going to add this portfolio onto a page. So we're just going to add a new page or new post. It doesn't really matter. Title it portfolio or my portfolio, whatever you want it to be. And there's going to be a short code, right? And how do we actually get that short code? All we're going to do is press that little orange button. Um, 
and we can either hide the filters or leave the filters in and just insert the short code. And so my only downside to this plugin that I think is that if you have multiple portfolio categories, it can't necessarily specify that. For example, you know, if you want to create uh, porf many, many different portfolios that aren't just one big giant portfolio, and there may be other reasons why you may want that, simply because you like the way the portfolio uh, displays posts, it's not really meant for that. This really is meant for just a strict portfolio or a gallery, things like that, you know, just describing or showcasing the work that you have done. Um, and so yeah, all you would do after this is once you inserted the short code, remember that little orange button right there, uh, just publish the post or publish the page, I guess, and and then you have this right here, right? Um, so I think that's it. You know, I think that's it. Pretty much, it's a very nice portfolio plugin, in my opinion, um, and it gets the job done. Especially what I like is this filtering option, um, and it does it pretty quickly as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, check it out. You can also play around with the other plugins as well. You can also play around with the WordPress gallery, uh, built-in gallery, I guess you could say, and see which one you like best.